Good morning, everybody, or good evening. Um, delighted to welcome you to our 12th uh, Advanced Symposium in ACHD here in London, all digital this year. We have 269 uh, registered delegates from around the world and an excellent scientific program to enjoy, interact, and learn um, from over the next two days or so. So delighted uh, that you're with us. Um, uh, without uh, further delay, I'm uh, inviting um, Baroness Sally Morgan um, to formally open the meeting. Uh, Sally is uh, the, the Baroness Morgan of Heighton. Um, she is the Master of uh, Fidelian College of Cambridge, uh, former chair of Ofsted, and uh, more to the point, she is the chair of uh, the Royal Brompton and Hereford NHS Trust. Sally. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you very much indeed, Michael. Uh, and my, my very nice job is to welcome you all properly to this 12th gathering, albeit a virtual one. Um, it's, it's wonderful that you've all joined us. I mean, it's fantastic to have so many, so many people um, with us for the two days. It would, of course, be so much nicer to all meet in person. So please keep those 2022 dates in your diary because we are determined to make that happen. When I was speaking with Michael last week, we agreed it might be good for me to say a little bit about our plans at the Royal Brompton and Harefield Trust for the future, because these have been in discussion for several years, but they are now, we believe, near fruition, fingers crossed. And I think also it's important to be optimistic about moving forward, particularly at the moment, so it seemed appropriate. So we are aiming with Guy's and St Thomas's Trust to create a new academic healthcare system in cardiovascular and respiratory with a hub at Westminster Bridge, opposite Parliament, which we think will be the largest of its kind in Europe and appear to the major academic medical centres in the United States. Um, it's not just a hub. Our, our aim is to produce a network, a system of care, if you like, supporting, guiding and coordinating the whole patient pathway from initial diagnosis to recovery or ultimate palliation, diffusing the centre's huge aggregate specialist disease knowledge to improve the treatment of, sort of ordinary or less complex conditions by all partner providers. Um, so having a much broader impact than we can currently have. We think the scale of this system is really exciting. Consolidating so much expertise in one centre will produce clear and actionable protocols and standards of care enabling consistency of practice and a lack of variation in care. We think the scale and reputation of the partners will attract global pharma medtech to trial the new devices and treatments that often lead to step improvements in outcomes for our patients. And we think that scale will also enable a piece of good practice or innovation to be more rapidly scaled up, adopted and applied widely. We hope and we believe we'll also be a great nurturer of clinical talent both attracting experienced global talent, creating partnerships, and bringing together young clinicians and researchers. Technology will be the key enabler to all of this. So we want to start doing the basics really well always. No lost appointments, that everybody has the discharge letter properly, no delay on pathway due to unnecessary or error-prone administration, which let's be honest, still happens. We want to build on the early, early successes that we've probably all had, particularly through COVID actually, in enabling remote access for patients to care. It enables self-management and earlier anticipation of symptoms, can minimise the need to travel and the risk of cross-infection of course, and can enable consultation with multiple specialists at the same time. And it seems right to, to mention here that that Michael's ACHD team at our trust is about to pilot an app platform that will help move his patients towards self-management, which we're really excited about. Ultimately, of course, we seek to deploy predictive analysis, analytics and machine learning, and I'm sure that will come. Just to emphasize, we see this as a research and innovation rich endeavor, but totally tied to frontline clinicians who want to improve the management and outcomes for a large group of patients. So watch this space. Our first goal is the merger of our trusts in the first quarter of 2021. And as I said, it feels to us it's particularly good to be able to look forward positively at the moment and see stronger and better outcomes for our patients. 
I hope your two days go really well. It's so important that people still get together, albeit albeit remotely at the moment. Um, and as I say, I really look forward to seeing people in 2022. So have have a have a very successful symposium. Thank you so much, Sally. So much opportunity. And I hope in 2022, we may be able to visit the House of Lords too. Going exactly. I was going to take you. We were going to look over and look at where the new hub will be. That was the idea. So we'll, we'll, do come, it. we'll come back to you, Sally. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Eh? Okay. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Appreciate it.